want to visit the moon, you got to wear a moon suit. If you don't want to be on this planet, you need this suit. Okay, so this is our Earth suit. It's really important, but it never came with instructions. We don't know how to take care of it. Fortunately, if it cuts, it repairs itself, so we don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Real simple reminder of our roots, our origins. Let thy food be thy medicine, and thy medicine be thy food. Just to be in awe of this incredible Earth suit of ours, it's 100 trillion cells. The reason a cell can exist is because it is separated from other cells and the environment by a membrane. And so there's, there's a plasma membrane which separates it from the outside world and there's all the, inside the cell, there's little organelles just like our body has organs, the cells have organelles. They all have membranes and then the nucleus has a membrane. Okay, and only three of these membranes have a, are double. The uh, mitochondria and then the nucleus have double membranes. Just keep in mind, membranes are fats, are lipids. So whoever said you need to be on a low-fat diet, never studied biology. Because we're making two million new cells a second and they need 50% of the outside of that membrane has got to be fat, so where are we going to get it from? The divine imperative on all biological entities by God, in fact, I think in Genesis 1.28, go forth and multiply, regenerate, rejuvenate, and procreate, and that's what we do. We're hard, hardwired to do that, okay? And you cut us and we heal. You, you, you cut apples off the tree, next year there's three apples in that spot. That's the, the nature of nature, right? You pull the weeds up, you turn around, they're back. The cells uh, don't spend too much time repairing themselves. They'll do their best, but for the most part, there's a process called apoptosis where it gobbles it up, recycles the material, and makes new cells. So the cell, that's why we're always making new cells. There's not a lot of effort at repair. In terms of tissues, we're repairing, but on a cellular level, we're replacing. Mostly, we're replacing. So those 100 trillion cells are in a continual dynamic flux motion. You know, you weren't born with a body that you still have. Not even one atom from the time you were born. From five years ago. Okay, it's, it's nothing constant about it. Just as when we look at a flame on, on a candle, we think the flame has a form, and we say, aha, there is the flame, as if it was a thing. You look real carefully, and you see that it's streaming gases. There's no it, there's no form. There's a parent form, and that's what we are in, in a little slower motion, okay? We're a flame, we're a happening, we're not something that happened. This is great news because that means whatever condition you have now doesn't have to be tomorrow.